Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's me, Richard Razor Sharp, back with another video. And if you haven't already done so, please click that subscribe button, like the videos, leave comments for me if you wouldn't mind. Awesome. Okay, so let's get into today's video. And I'm gonna talk about my latest clipper purchase, which as a matter of fact, is not a new clipper at all. So I am super, super, super late to the party in terms of this clipper because it's been around for about three, maybe four years. But I never purchased it until, what was it, a week ago? No, actually a week, a half, week and a half ago as I've been going through all this stuff with, you know, my Andis Masters. Um, I was in my barber supply and I saw the clipper there and they had a really good offer on it and I just said, you know what, I'm going to give it a go because I already use their trimmer but I've not used their uh, this particular clipper. I've used historically some of, uh, the, um, some of their previous corded clippers but not this cordless clipper. So guys, let me reveal what I bought. And this is an, un un an, an unboxing video because I've already unboxed it and I've been using it. Um, so. I bought the Babyliss Pro Cordless Clipper. Now, from my understanding about this clipper, this is a different version to what uh, the US has. I think they have, is it the Pro FX, um, I believe um, is, is what it's called. Um, but this is the UK, UK version. And I've had this for a week and a half and it's literally like, amazing. Um, I feel like, how did I not know this was such a great clipper up until a week and a half ago when I first bought it? Um, another reason why this kind of, uh, what inspired me to do this video is, you know, in previous videos I've done of late, you know, I've been talking about how expensive, for example, cordless clippers have become. And this for me is an incredible value for money purchase. Let me just add in here, I'm not sponsored by Babyliss or any other uh, barbering brand, completely independent here. This is just my personal view based on using it. Um, but this at the moment in the UK, you can pick this up from the barber supply I bought it from. They had it on offer for 88 pounds. And this further proves my point that you don't have to spend super high-end money to buy the latest releases to get an amazing cordless clipper experience because I've been using this for a week and a half and I've not used any other of my clippers since I bought this. I've literally just fallen in love with it. Um, what do I love about it? First, build quality. Now I told you I've used other Babyliss clippers before. So you know I used the Babyliss Pro trimmer which for me is just a beast. It hits hard every time. Um, and then prior to the cordless revolution I had a number of Babyliss um, Pro, uh, Pro clippers. Some of you may not know and I might have to go up in my loft to fish it out so I could show you it. But Babyliss actually once released a Pro clipper that was their version of like the Andis 76 um, detachable blade clipper. Some of you may know what, what uh, clipper it is because you may have had it once. They only released a small number of them. I've actually still got it. It still works. It's been brilliant. It was a workhorse. Um, I might fish it out one day and just show you it, see if anyone else recognizes it um, because it's quite an old, an old clipper. But um, yeah, I hadn't used any of Babyliss, um, Babyliss's actual pro cordless clippers. I remember when this first came out in the cordless, in, sorry, in the corded version back in 2016. Um, but yeah, never used this and I've been using this for a week and a half and yeah, like I say, love it. Um, let me get back to the point. I was saying things I love about it. Firstly, build quality. It feels solid. Um, next thing, I really like, it's grown on me how it feels in the hand. If I'm honest, the first two times I used it, it did feel a bit off compared to how other clippers um, are shaped. You know, it is larger and uh, longer than, um, like I say, uh, an Andis Masters, a Wall Senior, Wall Magic Clip, etc. Um, but it's really grown on me in terms of the way that it feels. And then the other thing I absolutely love is the bail arm. It has this click. I don't know if you can hear it. 
it clicks through the stages on the bail arm and I absolutely love that. On the Andis Masters, you, you know it has the indentation so you can adjust to certain levels, but they don't click into place. I love the fact that this clicks into place and for me, it's just made cutting easier for me because I know where I'm at in terms of the levels that I'm using when I'm doing a fade. Um, so that's great. The other thing about this clipper is great, battery life. Two hours um, uh, runtime. It does require a three hour charge, so that might be a bit of a negative um, in terms of three hours to a full charge. But uh, as always, if you're using cordless clippers, I always think you should have more than one so you can rotate. Um, but um, yeah, three hours is a bit long on the charge time, but two hour battery life and the power that it delivers for me is is is, is fantastic. I would compare the power of this um, clipper to the Wall Senior. It's definitely more powerful than a Wall Magic clip, um, but I'd say it's about the same kind of power, maybe even a little bit more um, than a Wall Senior. And it doesn't get too hot from my experience using it now, say for a week and a half. Um, it doesn't get too hot running for long periods um, of time. Always keep your blades oiled, as you know. Um, so that's another great, great thing about it. And then another thing as well is that it works with the Andis, I'm sorry, not the Andis, with the Wall Premium Guard system. So you can take the Wall Premium Guards clip them on and it works with the standard Babilis blade. But there is another video that I um, have done which is worth checking out to see the first mod that I made on this clipper. So check that out, you'll see the pop up just above my head in just a second, all right? Um, anything else that I can say about the clipper? Um, no. I think that's it. Let me have a quick look at the box again, see if I've missed out any details. Oh yeah, let me just mention, it does come as standard with um, with their own guards. Um, the guards are decent, but I prefer the wall premium guards. Um, and it does come with the 0.5 and 1.5 guards, which usually are like extras um, that you have to buy. Um, so yeah, that's good as well. And, uh, yeah, other than that, I think I've covered everything for me. But yeah, guys, I have to say, using this clipper, I've absolutely fallen in love with it to the point that I am genuinely considering going and buying a second one, or I'm also looking into maybe ordering the custom, you know, in America now you can get your own, I think it's the Pro FX customized, and maybe getting it shipped to the UK, which is going to cost me some money. But based on how much I'm enjoying using this clipper, I'm considering maybe doing that also. But if you guys have used this already, let me know your thoughts on it because you may have had it a lot longer than I have. I've only had it a week and a half. So let us know, the viewers know um, in the comments if you've had a great experience with it. If you've not had a good experience with it, please let me know that as well. But for me, for 88 pounds, this for me is just unbelievable value for money based on the experience that I've had with them. So guys, love to hear your thoughts. Once again, thank you for watching my video and I'll be back again with another one soon. Take care. Peace.